Hello and welcome to Cargo Shots from the Stat Trade Times, powered by Group Concord. Here's our pick of the best new shots that made the headlines this week. Let's look at the week's top stories. Lufthansa Cargo reported a 43% decline in total revenue at 712 million euros for the second quarter of 2023 compared to 1.3 billion euros in second quarter last year on normalization in global trade rates. Adjusted EBIT dropped 92% to 37 million euros from 482 million euros in the second quarter of 2022. Despite lower demand, Lufthansa Cargo's average yields remained 40% above the pre crisis level of 2019, meaning that Lufthansa Cargo outperformed the market as a whole in the second quarter. In the first half, adjusted EBIT came to 188 million euros as revenue dropped 37 percent to 1.5 billion euros. DHL Group reported a 16 percent decline in revenue at 20.1 billion euros for the second quarter ended June 30th, 2023, which continued to be characterized by lower volumes and declining freight rates. Express revenue was down 12% to 6 billion euros and EBIT declined 18% to 901 million euros. Global forwarding saw revenue slip 41% to 4.8 billion euros and EBIT declined 47% to 388 million euros in the second quarter. The group's air freight volumes declined 30% year-on-year to 415,000 tons, while revenue declined 47% to 1.5 billion euros. DHL has raised the lower end of its EBIT guidance for 2023 to 6.2 billion euros from the earlier estimate of 6 billion euros. Air France KLM Group reported a 34% decline in cargo revenue at 606 million euros on 6.5% increase in available ton kilometers versus the second quarter of 2022. Tonnage declined 10% to 213,000 tons and the total load factor was 7.3 points below 2022. Due to the increased belly capacity, the yields declined as well resulting in a decrease in unit revenue per available tank kilometer of minus 42.1% against a constant currency. While Air France reported 11% decline in revenue tank kilometer and 6% increase in capacity, KNN reported 5% decline in revenue tan kilometer and 7% increase in capacity. Building on the strong operational performance in 2022, Etihad Cargo achieved 82.7% on-time performance or OTP for freighter departures and 82% OTP for freighter arrivals in the first half of 2023. The recorded OTP for both freighter departures and freighter arrivals in the first half of 2023 exceeds the carrier's OTP target of 80%. Etihad Cargo has also improved the delivered as promised or DAP rate achieving 90.6% ahead of its 85% target and an increase of its 2022 DAP rate of 86.6%. 
the Austrian Federal Competition Authority and the German Federal Competition Authority recently approved the combination of two temperature-controlled ULD brands, Envirotena for the active part and Vacotec for the advanced passive temperature-controlled supply chain solutions. EQT, private equity, the majority owner of Envirotena, also had its majority takeover offer of VacuTech approved recently. VacuTech's offering of advanced packet boxes and containers that maintain temperatures from minus 180 degrees Celsius to plus 20 degrees Celsius without external energy input is a perfect match to EnviroTainer's solutions which include active ULD containers using battery-powered compressor cooling and electric heating technology and CryoSure a minus 70 degrees centigrade dry ice shipping solution. The full combination is expected to be in place during the second half of 2024. Bengaluru Airport has maintained its leading position for exporting perishable cargo in India for the third consecutive year. The airport handled a record tonnage of 53,751 tons in the financial year 2022-23, an increase for 3% compared to previous year when the airport handled 52,366 tons of perishable cargo. The airport leads in poultry and floriculture flowers export with a 9% increase compared to the previous year with exports of 39,865 tons and 1,877 tons respectively. Fresh vegetables and fresh fruits were among the top commodities exported by Bangalore Cargo. Fresh mangoes during the same period witnessed a 10% surge in export volume. Oman, Qatar, Singapore, Maldives, UAE, Kuwait, and UK emerged as the top destinations for the international export. And it's a wrap for this week's episode. You can read more on all of these stories at startimes.com. Make sure to check back next Friday for the news that you need to know to end the week. Wishing you a great weekend ahead and do take good care. For the latest news on air freight, visit our website. Follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram and subscribe to our weekly newsletter. Give our YouTube channel a visit and subscribe to access our past webinars and virtual conferences and access exclusive one-on-one -on -one interviews with global logistics leaders. Thank you for tuning in to Cargo Shots by the Statrade Times, powered by Group Concord. See you next week with a fresh roundup of Cargo Newsmakers.